Hey guys, LSD, CPC Gamer, you, you know the drill by now. So, if you've been keeping score at home, you will know that today is the day you get to find out whether or not I got my promotion today. And what do you know? I totally did. I get like decent hours, a decent wage, money enough to live off of, I get a company car, spot in the gold plated executive lounge that's orbiting the planet Earth and my army of supermodel girlfriends could not be happier. Quick question, at which point did you guys work out that I was being sarcastic throughout that sentence? Haven't done that for a while, huh? Man, I remember back in the day, I said that the world would end before I started a video without a sarcastic introduction like that one. But, uh, yeah, I, I did get my promotion. And, do you know what, I wouldn't mind so much if I had been given decent reasons for the whole thing, but, okay, do you know the first reason that my boss gave me, hi? Are you going to move there, long nose Dan? Since you... Yeah, you and your buddy there are stuck in a T-pose. I guess you're glitched out. I forget where I learned that. If ever you find an unidentified skin or model in a pack, try to fit it to a T-pose to find out if it's a person. Anyways, the first reason that my boss gave me for not promoting me, he doesn't like my face. Now... Sadly, this one is not sarcastic. He says that mine is not the face of a manager. This is not what a manager looks like. And, I mean, he did go on. It's, it's not just that. He he said that during the interview, I didn't say enough. And during the interview, I talked too much. Go figure. He said that I answered back too much. Which, it's an interview! The whole point is that he says something, I respond. That's how interviews work. And he said that it's really bad how... Whenever he said anything bad, I tried to counteract him. Which... Again, that's how interviews work. And he brought up how... At one point, he gave me an impossible task to perform that he knew was impossible. He wanted to see what I would do when faced with a job that I cannot complete. Now, personally, I tried to do as much of the job as I could, which sounds pretty reasonable, right? Wrong! What he was looking for was for me to tell him to stick his job and then just not do it at all, because... I mean, that's how you went over the boss on his first day, right? That's that's how you impress the guy that you're trying to make give you a promotion. And he he came up with some other stuff as well, like how I didn't answer a bunch of questions, none of which he had even asked during the interview. And then he sort of played it off like that's my fault. But do you know what? I I don't care. Guy's a jackass. I am at home doing this thing for the internet. And... Do you know something? It's gonna be... I'm gonna link with that guy. Give me a second. Or... <laughs> or maybe not. Fair enough. But yeah, it's gonna be weird to watch this in a couple of months when I get round to uploading it, because... I will have forgotten most of this stuff. And I'll be feeling better about myself and my job. And this could open up the old wounds, make me annoyed again. Or not, because I'm probably going to jump to a different topic soon and go off on a tangent. Oh, wait, so I'm jotting down some, uh, some commentary notes for an upcoming game that I want to play through. And I reached a point when I realized I should, I should stop, because I was talking about the etymology of my favorite German word. I mean, I know I've done some foreign language jokes in some earlier videos, like Fatal Frame 1 and 2 had a French and German gag respectively, and I've thrown in a couple of Latin jokes here and there, but it's kind of pushing it to start discussing the way in which my favourite foreign word is formed and 
trying to teach people the language one word at a time. This is pushing it to try doing that without getting my tits out, and that was really embarrassing. So embarrassing, I choose to rush off and kill myself. Oh no! Oh, hey, worth it. Totally worth it. I know I was talking about collecting new squares and stickers and stuff, but I do like when I collect something new. Also, you'll probably have noticed, as the days go by, the, the squares you unlock slowly fade. White being the most recent, dark grey being the older ones. And... Take it away, magic crayon. This is some text. Wasn't that great? Yes, it was. Did anyone else used to watch that one show? I forget what it was called. It used to you. It used to teach you the alphabet by using the magic crayon. It was pretty great. And not the weirdest way I was ever educated as a child. Let me tell you, my granddad. He used to teach me to count through the medium of gambling. Like, he'd say, oh, tell me when horse number six crosses the line, or how many goals did West Ham score, so that he could collect his winnings while I learned to count. And then we would go for a pint. That was... I'll be honest with you, that was really awesome. <laughs> um... Oh, hey, very similar story. I was on the train the other day. I'll probably explain why later. And there was this guy in front of me, and he was teaching his kid to read through the medium of the WWF. And what on earth is that humming noise? Is it those guys? I think it is. Oh, hey, so, yeah, this guy. I showed you this guy the last time I was here, and the dream cut off abruptly. These are reproductions of him. And this is what he is meant to look like. And sound like, apparently. You got anything for me there, Rayman? I guess don't. By the way, this guy, he's meant to be an opera singer. Or a juggler. But as far as I can tell, I'm pretty sure I've seen him juggling, especially given his hand movements. And... Can you link with him? Bah! No, you can't. Alright, yeah, let's go. So, on the train, Guy was teaching his kid to read through the WWF. The people one, that is. I know it can get confusing, given that pandas have propensity for slamming one another through tables and setting one another on fire and... KT Vic. It's why they're an endangered species, you know. But this is the case. The WWF is the wrestling kind. And the guy with the big book open on the table in front of him, he's got his son on his knee, and he's like, Can you read that? That one says, The old teammate warrior. Does that guy have a face for a nose? Yes, he does. That's. That's kind of weird. Post production gamer will have to check that out. And this music is new. What the hell? Oh, it's the Pagoda! I've... To be honest with you, I have never heard this combination of instruments and melody before. And... Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go down the Pagoda. I never go down the Pagoda. I'm trying things that I don't often try in this game, so... Why not go down? <laughs> You go, Andrew, you rock and roll rebel. Or not. Got that wrong. <laughs> you know, that's one of the few things I remember from one of my older LPs, trying to gloss over a mistake that I had made, failing, and instead declaring, well, got that wrong. <laughs> and now I'm back here. And... I know I said it last time, the last couple of times I came here, I'm gonna to see if I can find out where this actually is, because I want to come back here once in a while. And... While I do that, the talk of my fans and abrupt finishes, which have been happening quite a lot through this particular week, one of the girls who watches my videos linked me to some outsourced cartoon recolors. 
I don't have a great deal to say about them because my brain is full of what is this I don't even. Right, anyways, yes, it is near to one of the display gardens, near to the apartment blocks. If memory serves, there are a couple more apartment blocks would also be near to. Oh! Those paper lanterns, because I... That, that I choose to ignore, because... I've been that way. Oh, hey, Tengus! I'm gonna go over there and... See if they're actually working this time. Is it Tengus, Tengu, Tengai? What is the plural form of Tengu? I have absolutely no idea because it's not because it's not an English word. Anyways, and they've rendered properly. Awesome! I'm gonna catch up with them. Although, just watch the game throw Gray Man at me this time. It likes to do that. Um, hi. I thought I was meant to change into a monstrous vermin after waking up from restless dreams. In which I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there one day, but you never did, etc, etc, etc. Wow, did I just link the metamorphosis and Silent Hill 2? I'm pretty sure I did. That's... That's pretty weird. I know I like to take weird tangents when LPing, but that's a pretty weird one. And now I'm awake. What are we at? Oh, uh, just under 12 minutes of recording. I think I'm going to have one more. Yeah. My mood is picking up by doing this. You, you can probably tell, so that's probably a good thing. Also good is, well, not that music, but the fact that it's new. Like, it sounds like I'm playing Space Invaders or something. Did I even touch that girl before I linked? I have no idea. That is also going to get quoted out of context on a... a campaign trail. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. And... See if the game will let me out, finally. Sure, I put up plow into the wall like last time. That was a masterpiece of... You know, spatial awareness. Oh, hey, awesome. Cool. And where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? The natural world. That's a pretty nice place to start off. I wonder, is that the... Is that the only water violence district over there? I don't know. Let's go take a look. No. I guess it isn't. Hmm. I wonder if that's what the splashing sound is when you're in the violence district. You've heard it, right? The, the, the splashing noise sounds like water lapping over a shore. It could be that the violence district is underwater or something? I don't know. See, there I go again, trying to make sense of this silly little time waster. And for my next trick, I will indeed attempt to map the game Panic. Although, as far as I know, the guys on Something Awful actually did that. I suppose I should give some kind of context how about. Panic is a Sega CD game, and it's very similar to this one. In fact, given that there's no sense of cohesion and... or, well, co co consistency, coherency, whatever, between each stage, Panic is a lot like this game, except that Panic is a button-pressing simulator. Seriously. It shows you a, a, a screen of buttons, you push a button, it sends you to a different screen with a different series of buttons, or it kills you. It usually kills you, but if you do that, then you spawn on the same screen with the same buttons to push, and until you find one that gives you all the buttons to push, and... Even weirder than the fact that this game got made, it got localized for America, and it got a PS2 port. And I own a copy. Like... A physical, legitimate copy. And... It's so stupid, and I'm gonna play for you guys, maybe. Maybe I won't. Unless I can stream it, because that sounds like it'd be pretty fun. On related note, I did not know that you could link to India from the world map. How's that? I've learned something today. 
I wonder where the other exits go. Whoa! Hello, squeaky floor. Nice. I wonder where the other two exits go in the India map. One of them takes you to the intestines. I guess the other one takes you to the world map. I wonder. Are there two other exits? And... I probably should have tried to map the thing while I was there. Stupid, stupid, stupid Andy. Oh well. And those guys are not meant to be out there. They're meant to be submerged, I'm pretty sure. Can I... Can I do out with you guys? I'm pretty sure I can't. No, I can't. Oh, hey, I'm back here. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I'm in love with this particular combination. The, the cottage that's covered in writing. It's kind of spooky to me, because this could actually happen. Like, it's, it's obvious you couldn't coat the entire world with writing, like you see in the natural world. But you can conceivably cover a house with writing like this. I've actually seen pictures of houses covered in writing like this. I don't remember if it was um, in Pripyat or not, but I know it was somewhere in Russia. And probably gonna have to link to pictures of those. Speaking of linking, that was a nicely executed game. Kind of weird. Usually it links when you look at something, not just because, like it did just now. And I'm not going to do the Fortress of Doors. It'd be nice if. Like, that area was a series of static links. Each door would take you to a to a specific area, but... Each door is random. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Is that a penguin? Oh, hell yes, those are penguins! I wonder if I can link with them. Do they come back? Yes, they do come back! Can I link with them? No? Yes? No? Yes, I can! Awesome! Why hasn't the music changed? Oh, I'm back here. I've... I, I can't say I've ever had that happen before. Because I'm pretty sure that I kept jumping around... What's it? The Violence District during one of the first episodes. Which may have been episode one. Hey guys, welcome to me saying what I did six months ago while I do that same thing after work. <laughs> ah, sorry guys, I am... I'm all over the place today. Hello, Behemoth. Are you skinned? Yes, you are. I'm going to link with you for no reason other than because I can. Uh, hi? I might. Oh! Well, how about that? This is another thing that I've not shown you before. This is the Moon Bridge. And why it's called the Moon Bridge, I assume you're going to ask, Mr. Guy watching this video that I invented solely to put a hypothetical words into your mouth. Well, when my controller. <laughs> my controller starts responding properly. There we go. There's a moon at the end. There's one at the other end, too. And this is the moon, well, the same moon, that you sometimes see in the Pagoda. Or one of them, anyways. There's like a dozen textures for that thing in the Pagoda map, so... I'm going this way. Something interesting, if you go to the end of that tunnel, you're actually walking into a black box and linking with a wall. And you can tell because it makes the linking noise, rather than running the footsteps and loading a warp tunnel. You know, it, it, it simultaneously makes me very happy and incredibly depressed that I know the inner workings of the game's engine like that. It's... And the fact that I do look into games like that, it, it it ruins things for me sometimes. Like, if you ever played Bioshock, there's one part where you walk up to a corner to pick up... I think it's a new gun or something? Whatever, you walk up to this cove and you see your shadow being projected onto the wall in front of you. The idea is you turn around and, you know, surprise, it's a new splicer who runs away. 
trouble is you don't actually have a shadow in the Bioshock game engine. So as soon as I saw that I I did have one, I'm like, yeah, okay, very careful because there's a bad guy behind me. It would have been a fine shock if I didn't geek out and understand how the shadow physics worked. And you know what? I'm going to explore the toilet again. See if it has any kind of repeating effect on the dream or if it helps to influence the dream chart. Hey, there's an idea. I wonder if doing the same thing over and over again would make the dream chart lean more towards the static. Alright, that's it. Next time I play this thing, I'm going to try and do the same thing every single time I come to the same map. See if it helps things become a little more static. Assuming I remember this whenever I come to play this game, I've, I've got loads more stuff to do and upload before I even come to write notes for the next batch of LSD videos. So... Yeah, I'm just going to go and explore Kyoto some more. I was thinking of going into the temple, but I always go to the temple. Oh, okay, I'm going to show this off. Okay, so this right here, if I turn it the right way, this says grass, kusa. And I'm looking at it upside down, but I mean, <laughs> trust me on this one, that says grass. It's a cute little symbol, too. It looks like a little Toby robot standing on its head. Ah, oh, well, back to roaming. Uh, way to go, Andy. 4,000 years worth of history and culture condensed into Toby robots doing headstands. Although, in my defense, it is not the most culturally insensitive thing that I have ever heard. There was this one point, way back in college, my friend Mike was singing that one Monty Python song, I Like Chinese. If you don't know it, you can gather the content of the song from the title, if nothing else. Anyways, he's singing this, and another girl in class, Catherine Fan, turns around to him and says, Don't you think that some people might find that a little culturally insensitive, Mike? Now, Mike is some variety of evil genius, right? And thinking on his toes, he says, I didn't know you were Chinese, Catherine. She says, I'm not. I'm Korean. To which Mike responded by shrugging and breaking back into I like Chinese, except even louder and more abusive than before. But that's alright, because this was Catherine with a K, so she was frumpy but not psychotic and definitely not the sort that trap us inside hellishly difficult block puzzles. Or was that one Catherine with a C? I don't remember a great deal about Catherine other than... It's a game compromised of e equal parts, confusion, frustration, and pretending that it's not just Persona. Which is very hard to do, given that the cast is pretty much everyone from Persona. I also remember that the box art was wholly misrepresentative of the game as a whole, featuring, as it did, gigantic boobies. Because, I mean, nothing gets a game to sell better than slapping some boobs on the cover. What if you could actually put breasts on the cover of a video game? You know, like gel packs on the front or something like those creepy Japanese mouse mats? This is not a good idea, by the way, but it would generate controversy enough to, to get people to pay attention to me, and that is always a good thing. I wonder if I get a job at Acclaim Entertainment, because that's their kind of thinking. Anyways, this dream has gone on for way too long, so I need to try and find a pit or something to throw myself into so I can finish it and go back to improving my mood, apparently. Perfect. You got anything for me there, Sky? Oh, no meds. Nope, 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 don't care, not doing that. We are going this way. We are jumping down a pit. And twisting as we go. Brilliant. Not what I expected, but we covered up one of its eyes. This is the start. So, join us next time for more of this. And until next time, goodbye. Not you, Acclaim Entertainment.